Uh, this is from Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And here we are today with some information about Venom joining Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac Games and Marvel Games. And this is something we've all been anticipating because I did a live stream of the first game on this channel and Miles Morales. And that footage, I think, is now living on my gaming channel. And I liked both those games, but the post credits of both those games did set up Harry Osborn potentially becoming the new Venom. And it looks like now we have eyes on Venom. Hashtag eyes on Venom. <laughs> Hashtag eyes on Breen. Um, so this is, you know, exciting, obviously, for a lot of us. But it also is kind of confusing for some because I know some people out there want it to be Eddie and not Harry. Obviously, we won't know what the story is going to be until we get, you know, our hands on the game and play it. We don't know if it's going to be Harry the whole time or if the suit will pass on to one of the Spider-Men and then on to Eddie at some point. They definitely hinted at Eddie existing in this world in the first video game with some Easter eggs. So there's always a chance we'll at least see Eddie Brock in the game, too. Um, but it seems like they might be focusing on Harry Osborn, the, his version of the symbiote that his father created, um, which is Norman Osborn. So it looks like the story will revolve around them. And then also Spider-Man and Miles teaming up, which we saw in the trailer, some cool footage. And then we also heard the narration of Craven the Hunter, which was really cool. And uh, and so it looks like it's Spider, you know, the two Spider-Men being hunted by Craven. He's coming to New York to you know battle them and uh, and you know see if they might not be a disappointment if they'll actually be able to take him down which is what he's looking for uh, he's looking for a new king of the jungle because he's been the king of the jungle for so long uh and then venom shows up and it looks like venom says you know we'll take you on we could probably beat you so uh so and then also venom is voiced by tony todd the great tony todd uh so what's interesting about that is that was if that's the story <laughs> that's my script from spider-man 4 uh, which we've talked about many times on this channel before i even read the outline to you guys back when i worked at sony and i wrote a spider-man 4 script and the story was that uh you know peter parker was uh, as a scientist assistant to his uh teacher dr connors helps dr connors perfect using the the trace of the symbiote that was left over from uh, the, the spider-man 3 movie because doc connors had one in his possession he had like a little sliver of it and so in my script, it had Dr. Connors examining that and using its regenerative abilities and mixing it with uh, like a lizard DNA. And that's how he grows his arm back. And then halfway through the movie, the arm mutates and kind of looks a little symbiote-ish, but green, obviously, because he's a, he's a lizard too. And it transforms him into the lizard. And as he's turning into the lizard, Craven is showing up to New York to hunt Spider-Man to take him down. Um, but then he, the lizard shows up, beats the crap out of Spider-Man, and proves that it's the king of the jungle. So then Craven turns his attention to the lizard and then goes to fight the lizard. And then in my script, it was Peter having to recover from that loss. Uh, you know, he gets buried alive by Craven. He comes out of the ground and then he goes to Mary Jane and she helps him recover. And they uh, basically, he is trying to use his brain to figure out a cure for Dr. Connors. And he wants to cure Dr. Connors from being the lizard any longer before Craven kills him. Um, and so that was like our story. So the fact that it's like Craven coming to New York to hunt spiders and then another threat shows up. I'm like, wow, that's a uh, very, very similar to the script I wrote. Uh, but hey, great minds think alike, right? So that's cool. I was just a few, if that's the story, I was just a little bit ahead of the curve with the insomniac. Um, but that's, you know, that's cool. I think that, I mean, I'm sure a comic book has done that too. So I don't even know what I'm talking. I wrote that script with two other friends. So for all I know is one of their ideas. <laughs> it's been so long. So, uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to say great minds think alike. And it doesn't matter because I'm excited. Like I'm, I'm excited for this game and to hear Tony Todd do the voice of Venom, who is one of my favorite actors. I love that guy. I mentioned that numerous times on this channel as well. So this is all just great news to me. I just got super pumped hearing all this today. And I wanted to share my thoughts because I have, I got like one or two people ask me about this. Mainly people were asking about the runtime, which we're going to talk about next. Uh, but uh, but this video, I just want to make real quick to talk about my thoughts on Venom being in a video game again. Uh, that's really great because obviously he's on a lot of mobile games right now. And he's in Ultimate Alliance 3, which I have on the Switch here. I actually have it right here conveniently. Um, and I've been playing that too as well. So, you know, he's out there. I know he's in other video games, but we covered most of them on the channel already in our 600 uh, was it 500 or 600 episode that i did with leaf null and eddie's mullet where we covered the whole history of venom and video games we caught up pretty much all the way till about now so this will be great when this game comes out in 2023 if i have a ps5 at that time if they're not hard to find i will definitely live stream it here on this channel for you guys whether the venom vlogs over or not doesn't matter we'll come back and reunite and chat about venom and play that game for sure 
So let me know your thoughts of this game down below and we'll continue the conversation as well down there. And also let me know what your thoughts are on Wolverine because we got a hint at a Wolverine solo game from Insomniac 2, a little teaser. And I'm so excited for that one. Uh, that's going to be really great, I think. And they said it's like a, a dark and kind of sad and depressing story that they're going to tell with Logan. But if this is a the beginnings of an Insomniac shared universe... I'll be so happy, especially when they're starting with they started with Spider-Man already. And if they're already introducing Wolverine and mutants, I would love to see some crossover action at some point down the road. So, you know, if Insomniac keeps doing this, I'll be there for the ride. I love the first two Spider-Man games. And I'm excited to see what Spider-Man 2 brings and what Wolverine brings. So let me know your thoughts on that down below as well. And we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.